Hi, I think we're ready to go. I'm going to be finishing page 106 of your workbook from today. If you did not get to go over it in class with me, this is lesson three. And then I'll move on to our homework and practice journals. So let me share my screen with you so that you can see. There we are. Move myself out of the way. Here is page 106 from our workbook lesson today. To finish up, this is volume and we are estimating volume. Oh, yeah, that was it. Sorry, I thought I had the wrong page for a second. Number three says, a large box is packed with six rows of eight boxes of dried cranberries in the bottom layer. The box is about four layers high. Estimate the volume of the large box if each box of dried cranberries has a volume of 16 cubic inches. So we have a lot of information here. We know how many rows and how many boxes, and then we know how many layers high, and then each box is 16 cubic inches. So like we were doing in class, we're going to find how many boxes of dried cranberries first, and then we're going to find the volume of those cranberries if we were going to put all of those boxes into a bigger box, right? So six rows, think about our rows, going back that way, there were six, and there are eight boxes in those rows. So six by eight, that would be 48, and then they are four layers high. So 48 times four. Let's do that work, eight times four is 32, regroup. Four times four is 16, plus three is 19. So that tells us we have 192 boxes of cranberries. Now we wanna put those into a box, so we need to find how much volume we need for that box. So we're gonna take that 192, I'm gonna slide over here, 192 times 16. So I'm gonna do that work. Six times two is 12, regroup. Six times nine is 54, plus one is 55, regroup. Six times one is six, plus five is 11. We're done with our ones place. We're moving to the tens. I have my zero placeholder. One times two is two. One times nine is nine. One times one is one. We'll add, I get two, seven. I do believe it should be 3,072 cubic inches for that answer. All right. Give yourself a star or a smiley face if you completed this from class today. Here, let's look at box one and box two. They are packed with, a, with small boxes that are all the same size. They each have a volume of eight cubic inches. How do the volumes of box one and two compare? Let's look. If I'm looking at box one, how many little boxes are there? Well, it looks like one, two, three, four, five. There are two rows and two layers. Five times two is 10. 10 times two is 20. But each of those boxes has eight cubic inches. So we're gonna take those 20 boxes and multiply that by eight. And we're going to get 160 cubic inches for box one. For box two, I have five in the front. There are four layers and I'm sorry, four rows and one layer. Five times four is 20. 20 times one is 20. Again, each of those boxes has a volume of eight cubic inches. So when I multiply, I get 160 cubic inches. So I could say box one is equal to box two when I compare them. All right, here's what we were doing in class today, finding the volume. You can't see it well on my black and white, but there is kind of a shadow box around. We're, remember, we're taking this box of these jump rope boxes and we're finding out how many boxes there are and then if each of those jump rope boxes is three cubic feet, what would be the volume of the bigger box that we're gonna put them into? So I see three in my front row and they go three rows back. Three times three, that's nine. And then how high is it? One, two, three, four, five layers high. Five 
five times nine is 45. So now I know I have 45 jump rope boxes, but they are each three cubic feet. So then I'm gonna multiply one last time by three, and I'm going to get 135 cubic feet. And remember we can abbreviate it like that, or you could write it with the exponent. All right, the volume of the pencil boxes, they are 25 cubic centimeters each. How many boxes do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven boxes in the front. Oh my, these eyes. I want to say it's two rows back. I hope, it's hard for me to see right there, but I think it's two rows. We'll see in a moment. I have a color picture over here. Maybe it's three rows. Oh, I think it's three rows. I'm gonna change that looking at my color picture. Three rows, seven times three is 21. How many layers do we have of 21? One, two, three. Let's see if I have 63 boxes and I do 25 cubic centimeters each, I'm gonna multiply by 25. Three times five is 15, regroup. Five times six is 30 plus one, zero placeholder. Two times three is six. Two times six is 12. I have five, seven, five, one. 1,575 cubic centimeters. I'm gonna erase that seven right there. It kind of is in the way. All right, or 1,575 cubic centimeters. Okay. So that is our workbook page from class today. If you did not get to check your work or if you did not get to it, give yourself some stars and smiley faces. And I want to look at P41 from your more practice and homework journal. If you look in Google Classroom, if you go through Clever, maybe you already did, you watched the math on the spot video. So you already have your answer for number one. I'm going to go right to number two. Estimate the number of smaller boxes that fit inside the larger box. So you can see this shadowy kind of figure, that's the larger box that we're putting all of these smaller boxes into. So one, two, three, four, five, six in the front for the length. One, two, three, four, five, six rows back. And looks like three layers. So I'm going to do six times six is 36 times three would be 108 smaller boxes is what we're looking at. Estimate the number of smaller boxes that would fit. And we're finished with that one. We don't know the volume of the smaller boxes, so we can't go any further with that. For this one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven along the front, one, two, three, four rows back, and three layers. Seven times four is 28 times three. Three times eight is 24. Three times two is six plus two is eight. 84 smaller boxes. Now we're getting to volume of the smaller boxes, but now we know what their volume is, what the volume of those smaller boxes is. So there's one extra step to these. I'm still gonna find the number of boxes. I see two in the front, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rows back, one, two, three, four, five, six layers. So two times seven, that's 14. 14 times six, 24, 84. So there are 84 smaller boxes, but each of them is 16 cubic inches. So I have to do one more step and multiply by 16. Six times four is 24. Six times eight is 48 plus two is 50. Zero placeholder, four, eight. And when I add, I hope I should get 1,344 cubic inches. Next one, 50 cubic centimeters. One, two, three, four, five, six in the front. 
one, two, three, four rows back and looks like four rows high. So I'm gonna follow our volume. Six times four is 24 times four will be 96, but each of those 96 boxes is 50 cubic centimeters. I'm gonna hang my zero out to the side. I'm going to do 96 times five. Five times six is 30. Five times nine is 45 plus three is 48. And I'm gonna to remember to drop that zero into place. So our answer should be 4,800 cubic centimeters. So that's our lesson from today. If you want to pause and do the test prep, that's where I'm going next. See how you do. Would you be ready for the test? The first part says the table lists items that are shipped in a large container by an office supply company. Match the description of the container with its estimated volume in cubic centimeters. 40 boxes of paper with a volume of 1,800 cubic centimeters each. 40 boxes, 1,800 cubic centimeters each. I'm gonna go up here where I have some room. 1,800, I'm gonna hang all those zeros. I only need one zero for 40. I'm gonna hang all those zeros. I'm just gonna do 18 times four. Eight times four is 30, 30. Two. Oh, you almost caught me on a challenge. Eight times four is 32. Four times one plus three is 72. Now I have one, two, three zeros to drop in. 72,000 cubic centimeters. There it is. 500 boxes of staples with a volume of 80 cubic centimeters each. 500, 80. I'm gonna do five times eight is 40. I have to add three zeros. That gives me 40,000 cubic centimeters. That's right there. 240 boxes of pencils with a volume of 100 cubic centimeters each. I'm gonna do 24 times one, that's 24. One, two, three zeros, 24,000 cubic centimeters. Number seven. A bookstore receives a shipment of books. Each book has a volume of 24 cubic inches. The diagram shows how many books are in the shipment. Estimate the volume of the box filled with books. So let's first, we have to figure out how many books are in that box. One, two, three, four, five. I see five across the front. One, two, three, four, five, six rows back and three layers. Five times six is 30. 30 times three would be 90. Now, because I have 24 cubic inches each, I'm going to go, I'm gonna go on this side because I want to do 24 times 90. I'm gonna hang my zero, do 24 times nine. Nine times four is 36, regroup. Nine times two is 18 plus three would be 21, drop my zero. And we should have that it's about, since we're estimating, about 2,160 cubic inches. And number eight, the volume of each smaller box is eight cubic centimeters. Estimate the volume of the larger box. Same thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven across the front. Two rows back, two, three, four layers. Eleven times two, that's twenty-two. Twenty-two times four is going to be eighty-eight. Now that tells me how many smaller boxes. Each of them is eight cubic centimeters. So I'm going to do eighty-eight times eight. Eight times eight is 64, I'll regroup. Eight times eight is 64 plus six, I'm gonna get 704. And again, we're estimating, so it's about 704 cubic centimeters. All right, I hope you did that test prep well. Let's look at some spiral review. How many unit cubes are used to build the figure? Well, let's see. This bottom layer, I see three by two. So that means in this bottom layer, I have 
three by two, that's six. In this top layer, I just see four. Six plus four would be 10 unit cubes. I'm remembering to label. Oh, and look, we get to do an order of operations. What does it say? Parentheses first, 10 minus two is eight times three plus one is four. Eight times four, we would get 32 for our final answer. All right, I hope you did well. Thank you for joining me. I hope you don't find any challenges, but if you do, let me know. See you next time.